It's like trying to fight a rat, but not. And mm -hmm. a little bit worse than a rat. <laughs> Three, two, oh, very. I, I like this pick for, um, what's it called? For, I mean, it, it just like neutral purposes, but I also kind of feel that, um, Game Watch actually does really well on um, PS2 in this matchup. A little bit more harder for him to, or for um, Palutena to kind of just like get her shenanigans when Game and Watch can kind of just run away. Um, I love this lot the trapping going on. Getting a little bit more damage. Okay, very nice mare. Catching that drum. Ooh. A nice catching Ralphie out of shield. The shield is definitely getting very low right there. And just getting this juggling situation going on really well um, from Pumpkin Cage's part. And he's gonna. You're just gonna read a jump there. That was very nice. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, super even percents here. Like, really, the main difference is the fact that, like, Game Watch is a glass cannon. So, you know, one of the lightest characters in the game. Uh, so. Palo's definitely in like a better position to like land the kill, but then on the other side, Game Watch is also like dummy th dummy strong. So like, and fast too. Yeah, he, he's a slippery little scamp. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Stuffing the key nice with up air. Take him off the top. Ooh, oh god, scary times. I definitely feel that um, what's it called? Pink Cage isn't really. Is approaching as much with on um, back air as he normally does. Which is very weird on his part, but very nice air getting in. Just starting to take more extra credit than, you know, he won. Very nice um, eight right there from PK. This is definitely looking like a really nice second stock. Oh, it's definitely going a little bit slow. I really love how um, Ralphie's kind of taking the in this game. Yeah, uh, I really oh, liked how deep oh. Ralphie went there, but then it kind of just didn't work out right. Mm -hmm. I definitely appreciated that he went for it, though, because yeah. not too many um, people try and really edge guard um, Game & Watch as they should. Yeah, plus the fact that like a situation like that, norm because it's so rare, uh, you won't even like necessarily be pen paying attention. Like you let your guard down there so hard, and it's just like so your reaction time over there is even lower than normal. You're like, wait, they actually came out here, and then you have to like try and second guess like just how brave they actually are, and it's just like such a scary situation. But you know, Ralphie kind of just did it to himself, so Pink Cage was like, oh, okay, lol. Well. Um, yeah. Did that was a very nice backer coming in from um did that give him Rocky. a full bucket he's blinking yeah all right well uh, yeah yeah uh, the ink spill wasn't able to land oh. and uh, just did a nice. panic up smash i guess definitely really i mean definitely needs to be careful in that corner there because you know palatina really thrives off of um ledge trapping up oh, and he's gonna go all yeah, right. Very nice. With with all that, with everything that's happened, it's even again. You know, this whole time <laughs> it seemed that like Ralphie's kind of just been in the driver's seat. You know, with the unfortunate SD there, you know, Ralphie's kind of just the one dictating how the match goes. But just kind of goes to show just how strong uh, like Game Watch can be. Oh, all right. Maybe turn around. That's very definitely nice. going to be like a, a somewhat uh, tilting situation. <laughs> it's definitely not really fun to play against this character on, you know, the way that he is. Up. Wow. Up. 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 And definitely Pink Cage taking the lead from Ralphie. Yeah. And just not letting him land or getting anything that, you know, Paul wants to get. And I love this from Pink Cage. Definitely trying to pressure up. Wow. So Pink Cage actually going to be taking game one. Wow. That must be great. Especially since Ralphie was in the lead for a very long time. Definitely curious to see where um, Ralphie is going to take Pink Cage to. I'm pretty sure, you know, stages like Town and City are definitely good for Palutena. But either way, um, FG can work too if um, Ralphie likes SH, because I definitely know. Um, actually, no, never mind. I'm sorry. Um, what was the stage I was thinking of? 
Smashville. Yeah, it's Smashville. Just to kind of make it easier for, um, you know, Palutena to catch landings, especially since it's just like one big platform. So it kind of works with um, Pink Age to kind of mix up his landings a lot more. Game two. I believe we're just running it back because neither of them left the arena. Yep. So I'm just going back to PS2. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, like, I, I kind of understand Ralphie not wanting to change the stage. It's just like, it's like, bro, I was in control the whole time. I kind of slipped up, but let me just, like, one, not kill myself. And uh, two, let me just not lose, you know, the lead and just, like, stay in control the entire time. I don't have to overextend. Like, made me realize I might have gotten a little bit more frustrated towards the end, just trying to, like, end it, being like, oh, damn, this got evened up. I need to make something happen, and, and uh, Pink Age really was just able to take advantage of that. So, you know, like... I definitely like how... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I was going to say that. Um, I definitely like how Ralphie's playing a lot more, like, around his shield. And very nice to catch on that um, recovery. But he's definitely playing a lot more around um, Pink Age's shield as opposed to the first game. Just because, you know, he was kind of going for a lot more, like, nares, especially like, when he really wanted <gasps> to finish. And very, Wow, that was such a nice up smash. Okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. Definitely trying to get a oh, very nice up there. Pink Cage was getting a little bit too um greedy for that kill. Yeah. So this isn't as strong of a start for Ralphie as game one was, but you know Ralphie's still able to get the first kill here, and so now you know like play it safe, go for what you know uh, is gonna work out. You don't need to like fish for the kills, wait for the kills to happen. Just don't put yourself in situations where you could uh, die like that. Oh, that's uh, very nice. Falling with the forward air, but hanging out on the Wii Strong platform, taking a deep breath. Uh, I can definitely turn this around, or not really turn it around, but just like really push it into your own favor. <sighs> we, we've seen a, all of like the stutters we've seen have all been from Pink Cage's side, and it's been kind of like mm -hmm. consistently. You know, it's like one of the times where, like, it's a little annoying. <laughs> oh, boy. There you go. I definitely like how um, Ralphie isn't really, like, granted, that first game was a little bit weird, but he's definitely trying to stay a little bit more composed, especially, like, you know, coming in with, like, Pink Cage's, like, really safe buttons he's definitely trying to yeah. just you know kind of read pink cage out and just making sure that he doesn't really fall into um his shenanigans yeah i really love the fact that like ralphie's just kind of just standing there so so that he has access to all of his tools and like if, if he if he sees that uh pink cage wants to approach or something he'll just like dash back foxtrot away and being like let's see what you want to do uh, can i punish it yes no and then just keep repeating and you know right now we're seeing a pretty good position for Ralphie, because I can definitely get the kill. Yep, perfect. Very, very nice. I was going to say, it's still like 80% a scary situation uh, for Palo. She's not the heaviest, and Game Watch does hit ultra hard, so, you know. It definitely feels that um, Inkage is getting a little bit too, um, you know, antsy whenever he's on Ralphie's shield. Because he kind of just probably assumes that, you know, Ralphie's going to hit a button, and he always kind of just, like, you know, tries to get out of that situation situation that he put himself in to begin with yeah so and it just shows that he you know it's kind of just like thing that oh wow that he kind of hopes that ralphie will do something whenever he runs up like that yeah now you see ralphie's definitely not trying to overextend he's just like okay i learned my my mistakes you know he's just doing the up smash to try and get the two frame but then after that just backs off he's like all right you got it whatever i'm still have stage presence and you've just been constantly trying to come back um i would want to say i want to see a little bit more damage maybe about like 20. like if he's at 120 that's gonna be a super good position Ooh, that might be it that's probably it yeah yeah uh, yeah very nice coming from ralphie i definitely would like to see ralphie up smashing a lot more whenever Pink Cage is using his down air because he's been trying to like, you know, catch it before it comes out. Mm -hmm. But you know, it'd be better if you just up smash that because you kind of just avoid the fact that like 
his down air is like super strong and just he's like a very large disjoint for that. Yeah, I think he's just trying to avoid like anything with like a like large startup because it's like a scary situation, especially like when your reaction is already like dulled because of online. But I do mm -hmm. like the way he was able to seal out the game just by, you know, really conditioning there. He was trying to do punish all of his like normal get ups. And even though he like failed like every time, he conditioned him that he's gonna do get up all the time like all the time. So when he rolled back and just went for grab, haha! <laughs> I only need to get it once. Mm -hmm. So I fooled you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, conditioning with whiffs. Uh full sense of security there. But yeah, so uh one one. Uh see where we're gonna go. So the winner of this is gonna be fighting Web JP. So that's probably gonna be very interesting to watch as well. Oh yeah, definitely. They didn't, um, they didn't leave the um, arena, right? Because I'm kind of just going to assume that they're going back to PS2. I mean, yeah, they haven't left the arena, so they're probably just talking. I feel like, I mean, how, like, yeah. s normally stacked are, like, you know, the Wi-Fi or the Xeno Wi-Fi brackets, like... The Xeno Wi-Fi brackets can sometimes, uh, can kind of, like, have its uh, peaks and valleys, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, because, like, a lot of the people in the New York scene are very strong mm -hmm. about, uh, on our opinions on Wi-Fi, myself included. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't necessarily blame anybody, you know, but, uh... Yeah, so we we've definitely seen some some new faces. Uh, you know, ha we had Beast regular for a pretty long time. Oh, and they're leaving the arena, so mm -hmm. it seems that we're going to be switching the uh, stages. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, uh, Beast was doing super well. Uh, Josh Thin has done like super well. WebJP. So like, uh, mm -hmm. we we we've, we've seen the rise of some of our like Wi-Fi stars. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. so I was very interested to see that. Um, what's it called? Um. Tony Pajamas is in there or yeah. in the bracket because actually I met uh, or seen him. I I like I was like, yo, can like I get your um what's it called Twitter so that I can message you for some inkling practice. Never did that, but he's very <laughs> nice. He was very nice when I came to talk to him like the first time. Yeah, t Tony Pajamas is uh, a fun guy. Yeah, especially when we like uh you know because Zeno Wi-Fi is region locked, but we uh, we're slowly like rate uh like increasing the radius. Just to try and like kind of feel for like what's good connections. Remember, region lock tournament, so uh, and land adapters required. So you know, uh, if you're gonna play online, this is probably gonna be the the best connections around because you don't have to worry about finding someone from California or another country or continent. Anyway, game three. Uh, so this is Pink Cage's counter pick uh, choice for Kalos. Now I can kind of understand that uh, because like. I feel like, you know, usually things that are effective by Game & Watch, if he's not going to be landing up... Like, Up Smash doesn't care about a high ceiling. Like, Up Smash is just so strong mm -hmm. that it's like, you're going to die off the top regardless. And it just puts to the fact that, like, you know, maybe Palu is going to have more difficulty killing off the top. Mm -hmm. uh, and, like, just being able to, like, mix up those recoveries with the platform. You know, that could be another, like, situation. It could be good. So. I also definitely feel that, like, in... Alice is definitely a um, kind of bigger FD with platforms on the side. It's going to be a lot harder for Palu because I also feel like that's kind of where she struggles a little bit. It's definitely, most definitely like FD. Very nice, mixed up on the recovery, getting away from that back air. Yeah, you're definitely going to have to be able to like really uh, like emphasize the like your juggle game because uh, there's no platforms. Uh, and like you just gotta do your best to try and keep them from coming back. I definitely like though how um what's it called Pin Cage has been, you know, trying to hold his ground when he comes to um ledge trapping, but mostly when it comes to ledge, it's definitely always been Rafi who's been doing um who's been really taking hold of that. That was a nice kill on um about right there. Yeah. Uh, I do just want to mention, like, with the exception of the platforms, like, the 
like the main stage itself, uh, you know, the comparison between FD and Kalos, like they are like the exact same size. Uh, From FD and Kalos, they are? Yeah. Oh, I honestly thought that, um, what's it, it called? Kalos was a lot bigger. Nope, it's just, you know, like combination of like the background, camera, and, and th I mean, th those platforms definitely play a role, so, you know, wouldn't be the first time that <laughs> you can like get fooled. Platforms, yeah. Yeah, they definitely, but that platforms, I feel like, granted, they are weird placement. They kind of just help with getting, like, ledge trap, or, like, ledge trap. Yeah. So, it's definitely good that they're there, but. Alright, so. <gasps> okay, gonna get hit oh. by. I mean, I guess Explosive Flame isn't that strong. Wow. Didn't really send him anywhere. Ooh, all right, just up smash. Send him right up. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Game & Watch is super light, so high ceiling or not, you know, like... He's, like, third lightest in the game. All right, so this is... Also definitely, like... Yeah. This is a really good position for Ralphie. You know, he just kind of has to stick to what the to his game plan that uh, he failed to do game one, succeeded to do game two. So he's just got to keep it up. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I definitely knew, oh, Wow, that was very bad on vintage, but probably misinputted. But I definitely like how um, Ralphie's um, doing really good at running away because he's definitely not trying to do the most to just get like pressured by um, um, Pink Age. Oh, is that gonna kill? Yeah, that's very nice coming in from Ralphie. A little bit of a hiccup that first game, but that was very nice coming in. Just doing, you know, the bare minimum. Yeah, uh, Ralphie was just hanging back uh, and just doing what he knew would work. And, you know, it's just like, hey, I'm in the lead. You're the one who has to struggle. So, very nice. Yeah, able to take out that, whoops, take out that kill. Uh, he's just like, why are you phone air forward airing over there? <laughs> what are you silly? I'm gonna explode you now. <laughs> you just went poof. I mean, Game and Watch is that thin that he could probably just get like crumpled up in like five seconds with like real world like um <laughs> physics, I guess. Yeah, so uh, next up is going to be Luminous versus EQ, followed by uh, Ralphie versus WebJP. <laughs> 